Hello everyone, this is Zook and today I'm bringing you a new logo design video. This one is going to be for a company called Epic Minds. Before I get into the whole details about the artwork, I just wanted to talk about my real life because there's some major shit going on. Um, a few days ago I came back to Prague and for about a month uh, my girlfriend and I have been looking for a place to move in together. I know, right? It's crazy. And we finally managed to find one. We went to see... Uh, an apartment the other day and it everything looked good it has the right kind of internet it has a gas stove which was very important to, to me like a stove top i hate fucking electric so bad and we basically sealed the deal and everything is in motion now we're gonna be moving in there in the following week or so so yeah i'm gonna be um gonna be living in prague for quite a quite a while at least a few months I've managed to find an awesome gym that I can go to, so I it's going to be like a fresh start to life, I suppose. Unfortunately, I don't have all my gadgets and electronics and everything, but I did find a company that deals with transporting massive, heavy, and delicate objects across Europe for not such a modest fee, unfortunately, but uh, I think it'll, it'll still be worth it in the end to have all my toys and my, my fast computer and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. It's uh, It's a pretty big deal, I think. I haven't really done that before, so it's kind of a, a new experience. But everything seems to be going out well, and um, I'm getting quite lucky with everything. Like, there's no major obstacle in my way, and everything seems good. So, yeah, of course, I'm going to miss home and my family a bit, but uh, what you going to do? You got to have your own life as a young adult male. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for... Uh, major real life events. Now let's talk about the logo. So these guys approached me. What they do is they develop indie games, probably up and coming, not really famous yet. But they had a pretty bad logo before <clears throat> and they wanted me to revamp their image because they're planning on actually releasing something. So they wanted to have a, a good looking brand to go along with this whole thing. So the name Epic Minds, it's pretty self-explanatory, but at the same time, it's kind of abstract. So there was a lot of deliberation and a lot of back and forth with the client about what they wanted. Initially, they had a concept for uh, a light bulb with a flame, like ideas on fire sort of thing. But that wasn't really the slogan of the company. And I think it it detached itself far too much from the idea of epic minds. Because ideas on fire, like a, a light bulb on fire has been done a bajillion times before. There is so much clip art available on the internet with uh, with this kind of imagery. And I just didn't want to do something that typical. So we had a, a few talks about which direction to take. I wanted to do something cool like uh, draw a giant brain destroying a city, kind of like a Godzilla spinoff. I thought it was a pretty good idea because Epic... Like I, I drew a mind map of the both of the words in the name and Epic also means vast, grand, huge, large, and mind, of course, the first thing you think about is the brain. So I wanted to do something revolving around large brains, and uh, this seemed to be a good idea. But the client wasn't very happy with it, and so I decided to take it another way, which was to craft a sort of a, a somewhat evil-looking face with a stylized fire coming from the top of its head. I think... That ties better to the name than the the light bulb. It's still something more literal than that. So I drew a very simple <clears throat> face shape and uh, a stylized kind of flame. This type of style with the sharp lines and the well, the sharp corners and the curvy lines is something that a lot of comic artists do. It's something that I've seen uh, Joe Mad, the guy who works on Darksiders, do a lot, and I really enjoy this kind of style for logos and for, for brand work in general. So it was a fun opportunity to try and apply this sort of comic book style of, uh, of line work. And it worked out pretty well. <clears throat> the client liked it on the basically the first go, which is always nice. But yeah, the project in total took about three weeks to, to come to a common accord, which we were both in, a, in agreement with. Agreeance? Is that a word? which we both agreed on, let's just put it that way. So yes, this ended successfully. What else to talk about? Well, not really much. Not a lot of work coming in nowadays. It's it's getting a bit slow, but summer is coming and it's probably going to grind to a halt as it usually happens in the summer. People don't really have money to spend on logo and branding work. But other than that, it's uh, it's a pretty good 
it's a pretty good time of my life, I would say. I'm 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 having a good time. So yeah, not much else to say, unfortunately. Uh, the cooking videos are gonna come back, of course, once we get settled into the new place. It has a pretty good good kitchen and with with a lot of light and actually two counters. It is a three room apartment, so I'm paying uh, quite a a significant amount in rent, but I don't mind that. I like having an extra room just in case someone wants to visit or my aunt or relatives from both sides. You never know. And plus, it's just good to have a, a room spare just to, to put crap in that you don't want or luggage and all that stuff. Not a lot of storage in, in apartments. But yeah, it's going to be quite interesting moving from living in a house for so many years to to living in an apartment building is something that I always thought I would hate, but to be honest, I, I'm quite quite okay with it. It seems much easier than living in a in a house. You don't have so much to deal with roof falling, raining into the onto the ceilings and all that shit. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Quite quite glad about all of that, and I'm gonna get back to work now and try and pay the rent. Wow, pay the rent. That's something that I haven't done. Shit, so many responsibilities. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Please rate that shit. Sorry for the lack of videos, but you can imagine the kind of stuff I've been dealing with. So not a whole lot of time to deal with all of that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.